What's up everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I will explain how you can use open source LLMs on your computer using Python library Ulama. The library itself is a wrapper around command line tool named Ulama. It uses REST API available through this tool internally. So you will need to install this tool first as well. So without further ado, let's get started with our tutorial. To use Ulama Python library, you first need to download and install Ulama tool. For that, you can go to Ulama website ulama.com and then you can click on this download button. It will take you to the download and installation page. So in my case, my operating system is Linux Ubuntu. So I simply need to execute this command in the shell and it will download this script install.sh first and then it will, it will execute this script and this script will install Ulama on my system. If you are on Mac OS and Windows, then you need to go to those steps and download and install Olama on your system. So once you install Olama on your system, you can go to terminal and then you can execute this command Olama. And after executing command, if you see help page like this, then it confirms that Olama has been successfully installed on your system. So after Olama has been successfully installed, next thing we need to do is we need to bring up Olama server. And for that, Ulama provides us with command name Ulama serve. And once you execute this command, this will bring up the server. So let me execute it. And as you can see on my system, it gave error saying that this port and this address is already in use. Because in Linux, when you install Ulama, they keep running Ulama server as a system service. So you can execute this command systemctl status and then Ulama. And as you can see, the output of this command says that it's currently running. So this confirms that the Olama server is already running. But let's say that if it is not running on your system, then you need to execute this command Olama serve in order to bring up the server because the REST API used by the Olama Python library needs this server running because it will be contacting this server to retrieve information. All right. So as you can see on my screen, I have already started Jupyter Notebook. And in this Jupyter Notebook, I have kept the code for this tutorial. So at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So we'll be discussing how to pull model, how to list model, then how to use the generate API, chat API, embeddings API. And at last we will discuss, discuss how you can create a custom model. So you can install Ulama using pip by executing this command pip install Ulama. And please make a note that you will need at least 8 GB of RAM to run LLMs on your local machine. Because majority of the models have a minimum requirement of 8 GB and they have a smallest model which is 7 billion parameters and that model requires 8 GB. If you are using a higher parameters version like 13 billion and so on, then you will need more RAM like 16 GB and so on. So first of all, I have imported Ulama and next let's discuss how we can pull the model. So for that, Ulama library has a function named pull and over there you can provide a model name so in this case, I have provided model name Lama and that will return a response success. But when you execute this command, the models are generally quite big and they are in GBs, 4 GBs, 5 GBs, 10 GBs and so on. So it will take some time to get this response. So on the other hand, let's say that you want to get some update after few seconds or after when particular steps are completed, then you can set this parameter stream to true and that parameter stream to true will make this function pull return a response which is a generator and you can look through this generator and when you look through this generator each time it returns a dictionary so whatever steps complete the dictionary for that steps will be written so that's how you will know like what steps have completed now by default this pull command where i have provided model name as llama2 will download a llama2 with 7 billion parameters but let's say that you want to download a model with 13 billion parameter or 70 billion parameter then need, you need to provide tag information. For that, you need to go to Olama website and whichever model you want to use, you can search for that model. And once you go to the page of that model, the information about that model is present. Then you need to click on this tab tags. And in tags, there is a name of a model. So if you want to download 7 billion parameters model, then you need to provide this string llama2 colon 70 billion. If you want a chat fine tuned model, then you need to provide llama to call and chat. So these tags are available over here. And if you want that particular model, then you will have to provide this tag detail as well when you are providing model name over here. So 
so in my case as i have provided llama 2 they said that if you don't provide any tag they will pull this latest model so that's what i have on my system so after pulling the model if you want to know which list of models are available on your system for that ulama provides a function named list and the output of this function is again a dictionary and in this dictionary there is a key name model so where list of model dictionaries are available so i'm simply printing the model name and what how many parameters are there in the model and what the quantization so if you want to know list of models available on your system then you can use this uh, function ulama.list next let's generate some text using a llama2 model so for generating text the function name available from ulama is generate and over there you provide the name of the model and there is a prompt parameter where you can provide what detail you want so over here i am asking it to write a short paragraph introducing bill gates and the output of this is a dictionary again and that dictionary has various information like a model and response and so on and the actual response is present in this response key of that dictionary so as you can see the output generated by model is one paragraph so in short it has introduced uh, about bill gates so that's how you can use uh, generate api next let's say that uh, you want to provide some system message so for that you simply need to provide this uh, system parameter so over here i am again using same example as our previous one so i am using llama2 model and the prompt is again say, same which ask about uh, introducing bill gates and as a system message i have asked it to act as if you are william shakespeare so the output as you can see is looks like it's uh, about bill gates but it is written as if it is written by uh, William Shakespeare. So if you want to provide system message, then you can use the system parameters. Next, uh, let's say that uh, you want to stream tokens. So now what happens with uh, large language models is that they generate output and sometimes these models are quite large, so it can take a lot of time. So you don't want to keep users waiting on your system and you want to display something on your system so this model generally generates a one token at a time so if you set this parameter stream to true the response this time won't be dictionary it will be a generator object and then you can look through this generator object and it will keep on returning new tokens each time and this token you can display on the screen so the user don't have to wait for the whole response to come so that's what i am doing over here as you can see I am simply looping through this response which is a token and each token is written as a dictionary so as you can see in this response there are individual tokens written and we can combine all of this token to generate the response so that's what i am doing over here as you can see i am combining all the tokens and that will generate the final response so you can keep on displaying one token at a time on the ui and it will create an effect of writing on your screen so your, your users don't have to wait for the whole response. Next, let's talk about how you can use multimodal model named Lava. So let's say that uh, you want to provide image detail. So the Lava is a model that let us provide image details as well. So that's what I am doing over here. I am using a model named Lava and there is a parameter named images over there you can provide list of images so you will need to provide the proper path to that images and then i have asked it to write a short paragraph explaining the image and the response it has generated as you can see the image displays a young man with a dark hair a fair complexion and a full facial features so this is the image which you see below that i have asked it to describe and as you can see the model is doing a good job at uh, describing this image so if you want to use multimodal model then you need to use images parameter and you can use it inside of this uh, generate function next let's discuss how you can use chat api so for that the function name is chat which is available from ulama and there you need to provide the name of the model so this time i have provided a llama to our model name and then you need to provide list of messages so the list of messages each individual element in the list is a dictionary so there you provide a role so there are three roles user assistant and system so whatever role and the content key will have uh, information about the content generated by ai or provided by user 
So over here, I am asking, do you know how Bill Gates made so much money? And the output of this is again a dictionary. And inside of dictionary, there is a key name message where the information is available. So the response says, I am printing over here, response of message. And the output is again dictionary, but the role this time is assistant. So this says that this is generated by the LLM. So that's what I am retrieving over here in this variable final response. So it's a long response generated by the model this time, which is explaining how Bill Gates made money. So then you can ask a follow up questions because this is a chat model. So over here, I have first provided a user message, which we ask and the final response, which we retrieved in this variable is provided as assistance. And next I'm asking a follow up question that can you please paraphrase your previous reply? So I'm asking it to paraphrase the previous reply first paragraph or text. And as you can see from the response, it has done a good job. It understands that we have asked it to paraphrase the previous paragraph. Next, let's say that uh, you want to provide a system prompt. So you can do that. For that, you need to use role as a system. So over here, I have asked it to again act as a William Shakespeare. And again, I have asked the same question that do you know how Bill Gates made so much money? And as you can see from the response, it seems like a poem and it seems that uh, it's it is written by William Shakespeare. So if you want to provide a system message, then you can use a role as a system inside of messages. And the same way the generate function had a stream parameter over here, there is a stream parameter, which if you set to two, true, the output will be tokens. So inside of message of content, there will be one token present at a time. And then you can look through each of these token and combine them to generate a final response. And that's what I have done over here. If you want to display one token at a time on your UI, then you need to set this parameter stream to true. Next, let's discuss how you can generate embeddings using this model. So for that, I have declared a variable name message where I have provided a big paragraph. So this is the paragraph I took from one of our previous response which is explaining how Bill Gates uh, generated his wealth. And for creating embeddings, the name of the function is embeddings. So over there, you need to provide the name of the model and to prompt parameter, you need to provide the message. So whichever string is over there for which you want to generate embedding. So output of this function is again a dictionary. And this dictionary has a key name embedding where the embedding details are available. And by default, it is a uh, list of uh, floats so python list and you can convert it to numpy array and display it so as you can see the size of uh, this embedding is 4096 which is generated by llama 2 so now you can use this embedding for further any analysis if you want to do classification or sentiment analysis or anything for that you can use these embeddings next let's discuss how you can create a custom model so let's say that uh, you have a long system message and you want to create a custom message which is based on that particular system message so that you don't have to provide this system message every time you are using the model. You can use your custom model which is already there with the particular system message. So for that Ulama provides us with the function name create and over there you need to provide the name of your model. So in this case I have provided the new name of the model which is Shakespeare. And to model file, you need to provide a string. So in this string, we generally specify that what is the base model. So in this case, I have used base model Mistral. And then you can provide the system message. So over here, I have again asked it to act as if it is a William Shakespeare. So you can give a long system message as well. If you want to give multi-line system message, then you can give it as well. However, you want to change the output of the model according to your requirement, you can do that. And that uh, function called create will return a response, which is a dictionary and the output will be status that what happened, whether the model was created or not. So in our case, as you can see, the model is successfully created. And as you can see, once the model is created, we can use it like uh, other models. So in my case, I am using the model inside of this generate function. So as you can see, model name this time is Shakespeare, which we created. And the prompt, I have again asked it to write a short paragraph introducing Bill Gates. And as you can see from the response, it seems that the response is generated by uh, William Shakespeare. It seems that it is written by William Shakespeare. 
so that's how you can create a custom model if you are looking to create a personal model with the particular requirements then you can use the create function for it right so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section